it's Cass. Welcome to my show series vlogs. So today is prep day and tomorrow will be my show vlog. I only have two vlogs for the show but today is prep day and tomorrow's the actual show. My sister and I are doing this show together. I'm riding Theodore obviously and she's riding a thoroughbred named Gammy. Anyways, so every night before our show, Emma and I stay at our trainer's house together, so I'm just packing up for that. I've just got her and I's show jackets we just put together and show shirts, and then I'm just packing up my clothes and some sweatpants to put over my breeches. These are just some schooling breeches, just for like before and after during warm-up. Um, here's just a light jacket thing that I put over my show shirt in the morning because it's kind of cold. Just a brush and just some random stuff that I'm just packing up. I'm just like halfway done. I'm not anywhere close to being done. So yeah, I guess I'll do a little OOTD. I'm just gonna do a run through of what we're doing today. So Theodore has, we're just going over. We're gonna be braiding all afternoon. Then at 10 o'clock tonight, my coach has someone coming in for Theodore because he might be sore. So she's taking a, um, it's a type of camera. I forgot the name. I'm gonna put the name right here because I forget it right now. But the camera takes it takes a picture and it shows where he's hot and where he's not. So if it's really warm there, then it's red. And if it's like really cold, then it's like um, blue. So then it like shows the temperature of where his body's at. So then we can see if he's sore somewhere. So yeah, that's going to happen tonight at 10. So I'm riding and braiding before that. Then I'm sleeping at my trainer's house. And then in the morning, we're going to wake up at 5.30 and then go to the show. So yeah, let's keep packing. Okay, now I'm just gonna write a list of everything that I need to grab at the barn before we leave. 209. Guys, look at how cute Chloe is. She's so nice. She's so nice. All right. Let us keep packing. So we have to leave at 2.45 and head up to the barn and get all of these things. So we've got 35 minutes. So let's go finish up. Okay, I'm not gonna vlog much more at my house because I feel like this is really boring. So I'm just gonna wait till we're at the barn, at our barn and then at the our show barn. So we're in the car right now on the way to the barn and we just stopped and got food, dinner and lunch for tomorrow. So yeah, we're just on our way. Okay, I'm so smart because I forgot to vlog once I got here, but we're at the barn. Guys just got loose, so we just had to throw them back in, which was really exciting. Hi. Hello. Okay, so we were just jumping ourselves and doing some courses, and now we're just going to catch a horse for um. The, what's the name of the camera? The thermal, thermal camera. Thermal camera. So a lady's coming with a thermal imaging camera to do um to take a picture of Theo to see if he's has any heat in places, and another horse named Coconut is having it too, so we're going to catch her. This is Megan, by the way. She shows with us on her beautiful horse named Bean, who's awesome. Okay. Oh. 
She's so nice. I know. Well, the lighting's so cool. Yeah. Okay, this is my thumbnail. So we're just waiting right now for um, the thermal imaging. Is it like pressure points or something? Yeah. So he just got like even exercise throughout his whole body. That's so attractive. And these are the people that are showing tomorrow. Gracie, Emma, we don't care about her. Uh, you've already met her. And Megan. And <laughs> they're all showing tomorrow. Just kidding, Emma. I love you. So yeah, we're just waiting right now. Okay, you literally probably can't see anything, but we just finished lunging and I just lunged him over some jumps after, but it was way too dark to for the camera to pick up me lunging him over jumps. But I just had to exercise from him for half an hour and then he has half an hour of rest before the lady comes with the camera. So yeah, we're just standing here. He's being, he was a really good boy. It's so dark, you can barely see, but he was a really good boy. And after the lady comes with the camera, we're gonna head home because it's like 10, so. Yes, and the lady still doesn't get here yet. All right, we're gonna walk around for a bit and cool him off. I'm getting very excited for the show tomorrow though. He might be pretty saucy in the ground classes, but I think he'll be really good in the, um, I, th I think he's gonna be really naughty in the flat classes, but I'm sure he's gonna be great in the jumping classes because this diva horse is only good when he's alone in the arena. It's the weirdest thing, but if you guys have followed me along my journey with Theo, I don't own him, but he's like, kind of a bad horse sometimes like he's a really got a really willing really mind but he kind of bucks and rears and sometimes it's kind of scary riding him i don't normally get scared that easily on horses but he's kind of like you probably you won't really understand what i'm trying to say but he's like got a really good mind but he comes back like drenched and we tried a lot a lot of different stuff like chiropractors and stuff and it's probably anxiety we're still not sure but so he's kind of a weird horse so you'll see if i get a chance to film tomorrow you'll see that okay guys so we're at my trainer's house now we're just getting ready i must just in there brushing her teeth i showered that's why my hair is wet but i'm just it's like 11 30. okay guys we're gonna go to bed now because we're waking up at six leaving um, my trainer's house at around 6.30, getting to the barn around 6.45, and then leaving around the barn at around 7. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to bed. It's not crazy early, it's not as early as it could be, but yeah, see you in my next vlog!